A little over three months ago, I stopped drinking coffee for the sheer reason that I wanted to stop putting caffeine into my body. Now I'm staying away from caffeine, period. No energy drinks, no soft drinks, no pre-workout drinks, no superfood drinks that have even an ounce of caffeine in them. I've realized that a lot of these products sneak caffeine in them just so you feel something after you've consumed them. Now the hunt for new caffeine-free drinks is on. It's been an obsession of mine, and in this video, I'm gonna explore two caffeine-free drinks from Four Sigmatic, that famous Finland company that has mushroom coffees and mushroom teas. Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness products, do a cost analysis of them, then give them my own rating for my own rating system to help you decide whether they are worth purchasing or not. I buy all my products with my own money unless they were given to me for free by the manufacturer. And if that's the case, I'll always let you know at the beginning of the video. Four Sigmatic, that famous company that's been endorsed by people like Tim Ferriss, who's an angel investor and podcaster, interests me a lot because I really love their original mushroom coffee. They now offer a decaf mushroom coffee and a mushroom elixir both of which I wanted to try. I've been drinking so much mud water lately that I was desperate to try something new. For those of you who do not know who Four Sigmatic is, they were founded in Finland and have a pretty good following here in the States right now. In World War II, when Finland couldn't import any coffee beans, what they figured out was there was something called these chaga mushrooms and they could grind those down and make it taste a lot like coffee, so they use that as a substitute for many years. Later, they realized that the chaga mushrooms actually helped to quell the sugar highs and jitters that coffee gave them. So when they were able to import coffee beans once again after the war, they started putting chaga extract into their coffee and really liked it a lot, and it became very popular. Tero Isocapula, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, had grandparents who actually made this chaga coffee, and he decided to make a coffee company for Sigmatic that had chaga mushrooms in it and normal coffee beans, and it became a big hit. After the success of their mushroom coffee, they now offer an assortment of offshoot mushroom products like creamers, protein powders, latte mixes, and adaptogens. Let's get to testing these things. But before we do that, two things. First, if you're liking this video so far and you're enjoying it and you're possibly learning something from it, do me a favor and lightly tap that like button for me. It really helps me get my video out to people who don't know me and helps with view and subscriptions. And I really appreciate it a lot. Now it's time for What's in the Box. Here's what I got from Four Sigmatic. I got this mushroom ground decaf coffee with reishi mushrooms, and it says, chill on the package and i also got this mushroom elixir mix and this is with cordyceps mushrooms and says perform on the package let's start with the coffee first one thing i noticed is that this packaging was different than the one on the website the one on the website said it had both reishi and chaga mushrooms in the package but mine does not say that for some reason it must be old packaging so i checked on the ingredients in the product and it does in fact also contain chaga extract. The thing I like right off the bat is that Four Sigmatic has some good values. The product contains fair trade coffee beans that come from a cooperative of small farms in Peru's Cajamarca province. The coffee also contains reishi mushrooms, which are called the queen of the mushrooms, which supposedly have stress supporting attributes to help you to unwind. And the chaga mushrooms were the same mushrooms they used during World War II, to make the coffee substitute drink. What's great about it is that the coffee beans use the Swiss water process to draw out the caffeine from them, which is safe, organic, and chemical free. By the way, if you do decide to order decaf coffee, if you're out at a cafe or a restaurant, I think it's smart to ask them if their decaf coffee is Swiss water processed. It might be more expensive, but I think it's totally worth it. Now the most important part, let's start with the coffee. How did it taste? Well, I tried the coffee without anything in it and it was pretty good, 
but I do have to admit that I always put oat milk or almond milk in my coffee. So when I mix it in with the oat milk or the almond milk, I did like it better. In the description on the website, it says it brews smooth with notes of nuts and brown sugar. I do admit that the coffee was a very smooth brew, but I did not find the notes of nuts and brown sugar. It didn't blow me away and make me feel like, oh, I gotta order this again, this is amazing. So would I buy it again? I'll get into that later. Next, I tried the mushroom elixir mix with the Cordyceps mushrooms. As I noted earlier, the package said perform on the outside, so I had to kind of find out what that meant. I read that the Cordyceps mushrooms are famous among endurance athletes all around the world. Some call these Cordyceps mushrooms rocket fuel, and it supports energy and endurance. It also contains organic schisandra that's flavor is reported to deliver five experiences, sour, sweet, salty, bitter, and pungent, all in the same taste experience, invigorating your body. It also contains field mint and rose hips. The loose powder comes in these little tiny packages that look like tea packages, but they're not. You have to rip open the package and be very, very careful not to spill because sometimes when you rip it over, powder kind of tends to fly. I suggest pouring it in the cup before you add any water. The best way to go about drinking this is just add eight ounces of hot or cold water or actually put it in your coffee. I tried it with eight ounces of hot water. I didn't try the cold water and it tasted pretty good. It tasted better, of course, when I added oat milk. Then I decided to put it in my coffee, the Four Sigmatic Mushroom Decaf Coffee, and I have to say I did not like the flavor of that. It tasted a bit bitter and it was definitely not for me. I did notice that it woke me up a little bit, but it didn't give me a jolt like caffeine gave me, just a nice, slow, kind of energetic feeling, but it's very subtle and nothing to write home about. I drank it before my workout, which was recommended, and I did find out that it did help a little bit. What's funny is I thought I was gonna like the decaf coffee a lot, but I actually like this elixir mix better. I just like the new flavor of it. It tasted like nothing I tasted before. It's said to taste tart and earthy, and I do agree it tasted a little like berry tea. Both the coffee and the elixir have some good things going for them. The coffee is USDA certified organic, single origin, fair trade certified, and rigorously lab tested, which I'm not sure what that means. On the other hand, the elixir is vegan, contains no sugar, and is third party lab tested, but I'm not sure by what lab as I couldn't find it on their website. But it did say you could reach out to customer service and they can tell you more about it. Now, what are my pros and cons of this product? First, the pros, and let's start with the coffee. Swiss water processed, smooth flavor, USDA certified organic, single origin, and fair trade certified. Went well with breakfast and even for a late afternoon cup without affecting my sleep. Powered by mushrooms. Now the pros for the elixir mix. Unique flavor, perfect to drink before a workout. Provided some energy boost, but not harsh like caffeine. It felt more natural. Offer a discount on both products if you subscribe. All natural ingredients for both products. USDA certified organic and powered by mushrooms. Here are the cons. Let's start with the coffee. Had to pay for shipping. The taste didn't blow me out of the water and make me feel the need to order it again. Now the cons for the elixir. Pricey and had to pay for shipping, like the coffee. Packets are tiny. I wish there was a little more powder in each package to make the drink taste a bit richer. Can taste watery, so you need to experiment with the water to powder ratio. Now let's get to my own rating system, the three Ps, which consists of price, performance, and staying power. First price. What is the price of this product? Is it worth the money? The decaf coffee is not bad on price, especially for one that is Swiss water processed. It's $20 for 16 servings, not including shipping, which comes out to $1.25 a cup, which is what I normally pay. There's free shipping if you subscribe, and it's actually a little bit cheaper, but as you know, I don't like to get into subscription services, so I would realistically need to add another $4.95 shipping fee to the cost, which would raise the price per bag to $24.95, and the price per cup would rise to $1.56. The Elixir is $38 for 20 servings, not including shipping. That comes out to a whopping $1.90 a cup, and that's if you drank it on its own. If you added it to your Four Sigmatic coffee, it would really send the price skyrocketing. That would be $1.56 for the coffee, plus $1.90 for the Elixir, which would equal $3.46 a cup. So for price, I'll give it a five. Now for performance. How do the drinks perform? 
The decaf was decent tasting and the elixir had a unique flavor, which I liked. I felt chill after drinking the decaf, which is what it says on the packaging. And the elixir held up its end of the bargain as well by helping me perform in my workout. For performance, I'll give them an eight. Finally, staying power. Is this a one and done product or will I use it over and over again? Although I enjoyed trying both of them, I probably won't be ordering them again. I don't feel like I'm getting as much out of it for the price as I do with less expensive products. However, I might try another flavor of decaf if they come out with one or even a different elixir to see what I think. For staying power, I'll give them a six. So what's the final tally? Price, five. Performance, eight. Staying power, six. That comes to a final average score of 6.3. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. And of course, subscribe if you want to and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of all my videos when they come out. They come out every Tuesday and shorts come out on Saturday, by the way. And if you guys want me to review a product and enough of you talk about the same product, I might even do a video about it. Finally, you can hit me up on Instagram at KurtFitFi where I post at least two times a week on other things fitness. I'll see you on the next one.